Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll try to see how we can install Magento in our Docker system. So without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, there are many ways how you can install Magento in your system. So there is a tool called XAMPP, WAMP, and then uh, we have this Ubuntu subsystem in Windows. Okay. And then we have the Docker container. So I've tried all these ways. Now today I'm trying to install the Magento in the Docker container. So Docker container is basically this one. This is he here. We will see what are the containers we have in this particular uh, Docker system. So currently, if you see, there is a already running container called M2. Okay. So the M2 is the Magento 2's container that is being run over here. Now I was searching into the internet. Then I found this video from Mark Soust that can really install Magento in five minutes. So he's basically gave one liner code or a CLI command so that you can install it in your Docker system. So uh, here I've taken the note over here for that particular installation. Now this is the command that he shared. Okay. So I'll also share the link for this particular video so that you can also have a reference. Now there's a few challenges which I faced while installing this particular uh, Magento in Docker because in this video he was introducing us to the Mac system. But as you can see currently I'm using a Windows uh, system and in which we have a, a WSL that is Windows subsystem for Linux and in that Linux I have to install the Docker. Okay, <clears throat> so basically if you have a Windows system you have to have that WSL enabled for the Windows system. I'm not going into details because there's some separate videos for that and then we have to install the Docker for desktop. Okay, this is the main criteria. So once you have all these uh, prerequisites, what you have to do, uh, you have to go to this uh, WSL. Okay, now if you see here, so this is the WSL, and now if you see, if I type PWD, this is the path where I'm in. Okay, that is where triple W HTML and then M2. M2 is the directory that I've created. Okay, now. So you can go to here for this particular directory. Once you are into that particular directory, you have to run this command. That is a curl. There is some link over here for Marxist. That is a GitHub user content. And this is a one-liner setup. And this is the Magento's version. That is 2.4.6 hyphen P4 community version. Okay. So once you run this, so there will be commands that will be running in the background. And this particular container that you see here, this will be created. Okay, so it will take some time since I've already installed. I cannot show you those those um, steps. So basically, if you if you just create this particular directory, move into this particular directory, and then you have to run this particular command. And if you have some permission issues, you can give sudo. Okay, like that. So once you run this particular command, what I was getting, I was getting this error. That is, you should assign minimum 6 GB of RAM to the Docker. Okay. And in order to solve this particular issue, you will have, you will face this in the WSL only because since I'm using in WSL and finding the solution for this, like uh, it took me lots of time. So for this particular uh, result, I already tried creating a WSL config file as I was Googling it. Uh, it gave me various resources and everyone uh, told me to create a WSL config file in your user path. And in that particular user path, you can give the RAM as you want, but that did not solve the particular issue. Okay. So now if you come across this kind of an error and, and one more thing that you have to keep in mind that your system should have minimum good amount of space as well as RAM in order to run the Docker and all. Now, if talking about the error that you should assign minimum 6 GB of RAM to the Docker container in order to solve this, what you have to do before uh, before that, what you have to do, you have to run this particular command that is a bin slash remove all. So this will currently empty all the uh, that is the packages that got installed while you run this particular command. So you have to make it clean before uh, running the installation again. So you have to run this command. And once it is done, you have to move, remove this particular directory as well because it will install various uh, files and directories. If yeah, if I ls here, these are the kind of files that will be created. So you want to remove everything and then create a new directory once again and again come back to that. 
directory. So once that is done, what you have to do? So currently, uh, if you see, I'm running this Ubuntu 18.4 version. Okay. In that uh, Ubuntu, if you come here, this is the Ubuntu system. Okay. Now what you have to do? You have to move to this particular etc directory. Okay. Now if you see here, so this is the etc Ubuntu etc. Okay. Now you have to go to this particular file called WSL conf. Okay. Now if I list down here, WSL conf. See, this is the file, right? Now you have to go inside it. Now see, this is the file. This was already there in that particular file. What I've added is that this WSL and memory that I've added. If you see here, this is the maximum memory that I can assign. So I've given 7 GB of RAM for WSL2. Okay. So this is the main uh, content of this particular file, which will help you to resolve this particular data. Okay. So now once that is done, just save the file. Okay. And then you have to run the installation again this this one okay so before running the installation again just have to make sure since we are giving a uh, let's say a domain name so in this case let's say if i'm giving m2 test okay this is the magento's local host user um, uh, that is a host name so this is the host name and this is the version okay 2.4.6 the same kind of a host name you have to give in your windows host file that is inside etc slash host so this is all you know already. So you have to just make an entry over here. The local host m2 dot test m2 dot test is the host name. Okay. So once that is done, everything is done. Just do the steps again. That is move to the m2 directory and then run this particular command. So once that is done, you'll be able to see this home page. Just reload it and this is the home page. Okay. So this is how you can install it in your Docker. And that particular issue will be solved. That particular RAM issue that you are finding. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I think I have already installed some sample data. So sample data uh, command is already this one. That is a bean slash magento sample data deploy. Okay. Once that is done, you have to run the again the upgrade command static on and deploy and the compilation and all. Okay. Now you have already installed the sample data and your magento is running. Now, uh, if you want to see any other details, let's say here, let me move on to that particular directory again, HTML M2. If I list down here, so there are certain files which you can make use of. So all your code, okay? So all your code, if you see currently there are no app, etc, those kind of a Magento's directory. So you have to, if you want to see those, you have to move into the SRC directory. Okay, now I have moved to the SRC directory. Now if I type LS, now this is, this is the Magento's directory you all know that is app bin dev generated everything is there in this particular src if i want to uh, code it from here just type code space dot it will open the vs code on this particular directory which i have already done here okay now <clears throat> um, this is the directory and if you want to see the uh, this one admin details so there's a i think there's a file a directory called env let's move on to the env folder and if i ls here uh, there is a uh, this one magento env so if i see here if i copy this cat magento env so here you will find the admin details okay of course you can create new admin using the command so you can get the admin details from here and if i cat this particular file where is that file db.env that is db.env here you will find the db details mysql root password and all okay so these are the details about the magento's installation in the docker system so if you have any queries do drop your comments i'll try to reply back so thank you for watching my video see you next time